Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the uh, iPhone 16 uh, and the iPhone 16 Plus alongside with the other Pro models. And then we're gonna be looking at the prices and then see like the trading values for your current phones. And then last but not least, we're gonna do the uh, comparisons uh, between a couple models and see if it's even worth it for you to upgrade. So as you can see right here, this is the iPhone 16 pre-order. So you can start pre-ordering what, like on the September 13th, well, four, four days from now, right, at 5 a.m. And then about a week later, it will be delivered. So here is the model for the 16 and the 16 Plus. As you can see on the right-hand side over here, starting at $799. That's for the iPhone 16. And the 16 Plus will be $899. And the, the screen size difference is 6.1 for the 16 and 6.7 for the, uh, the plus. And it comes with a couple different colors now. They have this one. It's, uh, what is this one? We, oh, I guess we have to click on the, uh, the model first. So this one, the plus, and then we can click on the color. So they have black, they, wa they have white, pink, and then teal, and then ultramarine, right? So about five colors, you can see, looks decent. As you can use the cameras now, instead of going across, it going down. So it reminds us of the um, iPhone X styles and the X, uh, XS, I believe. So here, depending on the storage, so let's say we got to pick a color. Let's say we can go with the uh, black color. And then they have like different uh, storage for you. So depending on uh, your needs, uh, you, if you want 128, it's starting at 899, and then 256, 999, and then 512, uh, 1199. So that's the max storage it can go up to. If you get like a pro version, it can go up to one terabyte. And here as you can see Apple trade in value. So if you have a, well, we, we got to pick one first. So let's say pick the lowest one. And then you can select a, a trade-in. So, or if you don't have one, then you put no trade-in. So let's assume that we do have a smartphone that we can trade in. So let's say that I do have a iPhone 13 Pro Max, right? So it asks you, is the iPhone in good conditions? Yes. And then off the back, you give you the value of the trade-in immediately, $400. Uh, the iPhone 15, 13 Pro Max, you can probably sell it for more than $400, but as always, uh, when a company that takes in the uh, a trade in, uh, they're, they're, they're going to kind of give you a lower price than what you could have sold outside, right? So, this is how much you would have bought it afterwards with uh, uh, after the $400 credit. So, you ended up with $500, right? Or you can finance it. Uh, and then you can do a monthly payment for 24 months. And then here is, uh, let's say that we do that one. And then they give you uh, the carriers. So here you got AT&T, you got Boost Mobile. I'm surprised seeing Boost Mobile here because we usually see some other ones. Because before, be T-Mobile bought uh, Sprint. Uh, usually we see AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, and Verizon. But now we see Boost Mobile there. And then uh, last but least, you can buy it and connect it later with any carrier you want. So basically what you do, you don't want to tie into anything, so you put, you connect to any carrier. And then they do provide you with the Apple Care right here, and then depending on if you like. I usually don't buy any of Apple, Apple Care coverage. So, and then pre-orders here, right? And then due to day, it's uh, 9.29, and afterwards it'll be 5.29. So what's in the box? So just basically <laughs> the iPhone 16 Plus, and the USB Type-C cable. That's pretty much it. And here it gives you more the different phones here comparisons, but that's what you get for the uh, uh, the Plus model. And it if you get the the just the 16, then it'll be a hundred dollars less, right? So let's go to the the Pro models, right? This is what it's all about, the Pro. So same thing. You're gonna so with the pro model, you're gonna the price starting at nine ninety nine for the pro, which is the six point three. So this year the screen size got a little bit bigger. As you can notice, the other one was uh, 
2.6.1, uh, and this is uh, 6.3. Uh, and then the other one was 6.7, I believe, and this is 6.9. So they're able to squeeze out a little bit more uh, on the screen size. And let's go down what color. So we, like usual, uh, I use, if I would have buy, I would buy the Pro Max, right? And then it give you, this year, it give you four different colors. Uh, I think this, the, the, it's good that they brought back the uh, gold color because with the Asian people, uh, we love gold, you know what I mean? We live on gold, we dream about gold. Everything is, is uh, re revolve around gold. So, but they have like what, desert titanium? And that's what it's called. It doesn't, it's not called rose gold. Uh, and let's see, and then it ha what it has, like natural titanium. I think this is the color that I have for my uh, iPhone uh, 15 Pro Max. And then we go over here. Jesus Christ. Um, we have what? White titanium. And then we have black titanium. All right, so let's go down. The good thing about the Pro model is starting out at 256. So in my opinion, with the prices that Apple is charging, I think they just pretty much just start out with 256 re, uh, regardless 128 what can you do 128 nowadays right and then but they do have up to one ter one terabyte so what 256 it's going to go for 1199 uh you can either pay the full price or you can do a monthly pay uh, payment for 24 months for 49.95 if you want a 512 then you can pay 1399 or if you want to buy a one terabyte that'll be 15.99 so I think the good one good thing about uh, Apple is I think they still keep uh, the price uh, same uh, for the last couple of years, which is good. So as you can see right here, uh, trading for my Pro uh, 13 Pro Max, uh, give me $400 credit right there. And then ended up today, just uh, the basic model, $800. But due to today, it's uh, $1,199. That's not including tax and whatever fees that Apple uh, decides to charge me. I, again, uh, I don't recommend picking uh, a carrier because it will tie to it. I usually just connect it to uh, later, to any carrier later. That way your phone comes uh, unlocked automatically, you know what I mean? And again, I don't buy any Apple Care product at all. So Apple, uh, Apple's going cheap, you know, only give you like the box and the, the phone and the, the cable. That's pretty much all you're getting. So here, so let's go to a comparison of the phone to see if it's even worth it for you to actually do do the upgrade. So I decided to pick the uh, the three models, so the 16 Pro Max, the 15 Pro Max, and the 13 Pro Max, because I think that's uh, most of the people have, because the 14 really nothing at all. So, so as you can see right here, the screen size for the 13 and the 15 is 6.7, and the 16 is 6.9, right? And they starting with the 15s, they got the always-on displays. Uh, in my opinion, I don't like it because it drains the battery too much, in my opinion. Uh, but, you know, it, it carries on to the uh, 16 as well, too. And then with the 15, that's when they started having the action button. And with the 13, you still got the silent switch on and off. And then the good thing, if you, in my opinion, if you have the iPhone 15, because uh, it does, it's able to run the Apple intelligence uh, right here too. But the 13 or the 14, you cannot. So if you're, if you are using the iPhone 13 or 14, uh, you know, and I can see you guys upgrading it to the 16. But if you're already on the 15 Pro Max like myself, uh, I don't I don't see or I don't justify spending the money just for you know it's uh, for 0.2 inch of the screen size and a little bit more faster chip, so it doesn't do any good. Right here, you got the uh, the camera control button. This is something that for the 16 does. So if you like uh, if you really like to take photos, you know what I mean, then maybe 
it's worth spending more because it gives you the, the button where you can capture, you can zoom in, zoom out, you can change the exposure, all kind of stuff. So if you're like a photo freak, then yes. But if not, 15 is fine. And this is the, um, the cameras, you know, 48 megapixels. Pretty much, you know, even the, the my, uh, my wife, 13 Pro Max, the camera quality still looks good. So, again, if you're more conservative, then don't need to, to upgrade it. But if you want the high tech and the latest, then the 16. But if you're on the 15, not really worth it at all. So, basically that, I mean, the 15s, you can see right here, somehow Apple, uh, they're more, they're really good, they're efficient with how they design the newer phones because look, my 15 Pro Max only lasts, what, like 29 hours for me to play back? But look at the 16, four more hours. Come on, four more hours, that's a lot because they're able to squeeze in the, the design of the battery, so which is awesome. And you can see, you know, this is an, an upgrade, like one hour to one hour, one hour, but this is four hours. So if you're, if you use the phone a lot for videos or watching YouTubes, movies like that, you know, four hours does make a big difference right there. But other than that, everything 5G, same face ID, same, same, same. Yeah, pretty much pretty same, right? And all the display. I'm not going to go through all of the display and all, all the specifications, you know. But as you can see here, the size-wise, the phone is a little bit bigger. Uh, 159 millimeter, this is 163, and 3.02 inches, and this 3.06. And as far as with the 15, it does weigh a little bit more. However, the 13 with the titanium uh, and with the stainless steel, the stainless steel weighs more. It's, and you can tell the big difference when I carry my phone, uh, my wife's phone, it is heavier. And I, I, to be honest, I actually like the, the, the square shape of the 13 more than the 15. I don't know why. Somehow it keeps on, uh, you know, even with the, uh, uh, with the case, I, I just feel like it's better with the titanium, I don't know, with the stainless steel, right? And the rest, so, yeah, so the, here, more of it, I'm not gonna go through all that stuff, but, you know, if you like, you can uh, read through it. But, yeah, that's pretty much, much it, guys. So you can start ordering uh, on the, uh, the 13th, so you can start ordering on the 13th, and then it will be delivered on the 20th. So you got a couple of days uh, to order. So I don't know, t uh, let me know. So uh, are you in love with the desert titanium? I don't know why they don't call it like rose gold. For the Apple Watch, they call it rose gold still. They have some kind of really nice, little neat there. But oh well, I'm glad that it's back because I love gold, right? But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. But on that, take care, be safe, till next time.